Sunday. Yesterday after dinner, all of us watched a movie called as The Run. I think it was released last year. It's an English movie and it's pretty good. Like it's a suspense thriller sort of movie. Damn nice. And then till 2:30 a.m. I was playing PS4. Not proud, but well, weekend is the only time I get to just wake up whenever I want. So today, as you guys saw, I did have a planning slash journaling date with my cousin sister Athira. She's an artist. She is so freaking talented. You guys have to check out her Instagram. She also has a YouTube channel. I will link her page in the description box. Her art is so so inspiring and beautiful. Anyways, that was a productive session we had because I really had to get my game on planning my Kanban board and also my Asana for my content. I was somehow postponing it again and again, but this time I. made it tight and proper but yeah since then we had to attend a sunday mass virtually of course and yeah now i'm just going to have lunch there isn't much planned i do want to make kimbap which if you don't know let's say a korean version of sushi sushi is of course japanese but the major difference between sushi and kimbap is that sushi is mostly raw meat right it's raw fish and kimbap is cooked meat but otherwise it looks exactly like a sushi but yeah i i'm, I'm not a fish person raw fish to dur ki baat hai i've all always been away from sushi i've never even tried it in my life because i don't feel like but out of curiosity i do want to try it once in my life at least and see if i'll actually like it i doubt it kimbap seems to be like the perfect alternative to sushi for me because it is cooked meat it could be chicken mutton beef or even fish but for me i'm going to make it with chicken i did buy all the ingredients which i will show in a while i do want to cook more this year that was one of my mini goals of this year i have even put a picture of it on my vision board every sunday or saturday i want to cook at least one thing so yeah I'm going to have lunch now and then make kimpa should be enough I'm also constantly wetting my fingers just so that the rice does not stick to my fingers Okay here we go 
I didn't have a bamboo rolling mat, which is what they use for sushi or kimbap. I looked up on Google and apparently you can also use a thick kitchen towel like this. Of course, make sure it's super clean. Oh, not bad. Okay. I don't like the smell of the <laughs> nori, which is basically the seaweed sheet. Here we go, the first fail. How do people cut it? Okay, better. <laughs> Getting the hang of it, but it's still not perfect. Oh, there you go. You know what, we're just going to try this and see how it tastes. Okay, first off, I have a very strong feeling I'm not gonna like it only because of the smell like it's so fishy <sighs> Makes Come on, it won't be that bad Okay, my camera died so I'm shooting on my phone Anyways, I'm just going to try more of this so that I can figure out what I feel about it Okay. Firstly, 100% my biggest problem is the seaweed itself because it has that fishy smell and taste. But the more you have it, you sort of develop a taste for it. Like you start getting used to that sort of fishy smell. <laughs> but the filling is really nice. I like this Japanese sushi rice. Carrots are of course nice. Egg is nice. Chicken is nice. So that's my thing. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of the seaweed. That is my current verdict of kimbap. You can make this with a lot of different fillings, like literally anything and everything. And I've also heard that you can make kimbap without the CV. Maybe I should try that. That would be more ideal for me. But I'm going to ask my dad and my brother to have a taste and see what they have to say. My mom can't have this, unfortunately, because she's allergic to egg. And there is egg inside this. I could make her an eggless one. I have a feeling they also won't like it because of the fishiness. But they all still like to have fish and they're more tolerant towards that sort of smell. I, on the other hand, just do not like it at all. So maybe they might like it more than me. <laughs> Kimpa. <laughs> Cheers. Hmm? <laughs> the whole galaxy of feelings keep coming into your head <laughs> as you keep chewing. <laughs> what galaxy of feelings? Is it good? Bad? Stinky? Yeah. Fishy? And then finally you say, yeah. <laughs> Wow, my mascara has come down. But anyways, I just finished the dance practice with my friends. So we are shooting a friend's theme reel. It's a super creative reel. I hope it turns out fine. So I was just picking out outfit that's like a check skirt. I don't watch friends, by the way. I, of course, know all the characters and certain quirks because all my other friends are actually friends fans. I'm supposed to be Rachel. So yeah, I was just picking out outfits for tomorrow's shoot for that. I actually did have the last piece of kimbap. And my final thought is that I do not like seaweed ka smell. It's too fishy for me so yeah i'm actually going to make the no seaweed wala sushi i think i would like that way more but anyways let me know if you guys have tried sushi or kimbap and if you guys liked it did not like it this is literally like a real weekend in my life this is how it is make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy watching vlogs and of course if you aren't already part of the meg fam you can join the meg fam by hitting the subscribe button and clicking on the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i do upload a new video and guys please follow me on instagram because i'm super active there and all these fun reels are going to go up Oh, bhai, mera hath itta dard ho raha hai. Oh. Anyways, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Ah. Bye. 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 Bye.